Become a care worker. Supported by Kent County Council and Kent Integrated Care Alliance. KMFM Thursday afternoon. This is Andy Walker. Of course, tonight at 8 o'clock, we will once again join the county and the country and clap for our carers. And the plan on this show for the next 60 minutes is to let you know more about care workers in Kent. What they do, who they're doing it for. We're going to give you the chance to ask any questions you've always wanted to ask as well. And at this point, just to let you know, we're also streaming live live on Facebook, KMFM Official. We're live on there right now. Care Workers in Kent are a team of amazing people. These guys support people of all ages to maintain their independence as much as possible and also enabling them to lead a safe and fulfilling life. Now, my first guest this afternoon, Penny Lawler, who's Project Manager for Kent County Council. Afternoon, Penny. Afternoon, Andy. So why are you looking for care workers right at this moment in particular? Well, as everybody's aware, we've got coronavirus with us at the moment. And when this started a month back, we had many providers saying that they were having some staffing issues due to staff isolating because of themselves having symptoms or family members. So we decided to try and support them as much as we could by running a short four-week recruitment campaign. Um, And alongside that, we thought it was a good opportunity for providers who've got permanent vacancies to also include those as well. And what kind of people are you looking for? So we're looking for people who are interested in people. You know, we're a very person-centred sector. You know, we're not making things or, you know, sitting on computers all day. Our business is people. So we're looking for people who are, you know, compassionate, caring, considerate. And most of all, they've got a real interest in supporting people to lead, lead the most independent life they can lead. And we've been telling lots of people this week on KMFM about the application process, which is online, kmfm.co.uk forward slash care right now. Tell us, what is that application process? What is it like? We've made it quite straightforward for people. Um, We're recruiting values-based. It's all about the person. We don't want big, long lists of qualifications. So once they follow that um, link, they'll come to a very short 40-second film. And below that film is a very short form with some basic questions questions about you know their name contact areas they'd like to work hours they'd like to work and a little box at the bottom where they can put a little sentence and personal statement in we then pick that up and contact them directly so really easy to fill out thank you penny okay so we are going to meet our care worker really soon who's kindly giving up an hour of her own time to answer your questions at home and you can fire off those questions to us right now we are streaming live on facebook kmfm official send over your questions also text KMFM and your question to 87474. Care workers are needed in Kent right now. Stay listening to find out how you could apply or visit kmfm.co.uk forward slash care. Supported by Kent County Council and Kent Integrated Care Alliance. It is KMFM. This is Andy Walker. This hour, it is all about care workers in Kent who are key workers and doing an incredible job, especially right now. But... More care workers here in Kent are needed, and they're needed urgently. And by the end of this hour, it might even be a role you want to be part of. On the show today, from her home, is someone who is on the front line and knows from first-hand experience exactly what it takes. Tiffany Sims is a care worker at Woodchurch House in Ashford. Afternoon, Tiffany. Afternoon. So why did you decide to become a care worker? And also, how long have you been doing it? I have been doing care work for between six to seven years and I wanted to be a carer because every at the time everyone at school was talking about it and my older sister was a carer and she just was telling me one night how amazing the job was so I decided to just go for it and yeah, here I am. <laughs> In terms of skills that you had to bring to the job, what would you say are your skills that make you a great care worker? Um, you have to be quite a patient person, um, have quite a good, high, bubbly personality, and I would say just loving nature, to be fair. So it's all about that personal touch as well, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. And as far as benefits are concerned, as well about being a care, a care worker in Kent, what, what are they, in your opinion? I'd say one of the biggest benefits of being a carer is the bonds that you have with these people and, you know, the trust 
because you build up trust and it and it actually to be fair it actually helps a lot with my mental health as well as we said at the start of this show care workers in Kent are urgently needed and we want to explain as much as we can and we've already heard from Penny who we'll hear from again who's project manager at Kent County Council about how easy that application uh, is can you just tell us uh, just in a couple of words how easy the process actually is to apply to be a care worker in Kent yes it's really easy like you just fill out a few of your details and that's it did you have any qualifications um no I didn't (laughs) I do now I've done all of my quite a lot of my qualifications whilst being a carer but before I started I didn't have nothing so talk us through so since you have become a carer what have you gained um my I'm doing my MVQ which is obviously health and social social care um you can do stuff like dementia training, uh, your first aid training and, you know, stuff that links to the job. It really is straightforward and easy to apply, isn't it, to become a care worker? Yeah. And we want your questions as well. Also, mentions for care workers you know who are working. Maybe today in Kent, text KMFM to 87474. Your questions as well on text. Anything you want to know between now and one o'clock. And we're also streaming live on Facebook, KMFM Official. Become a care worker. Stay listening to find out how you could apply or visit kmfm.co.uk forward slash care. Supported by Kent County Council and Kent Integrated Care Alliance. It is a KM FM special. This hour, this 60 minutes, is all about care workers in Kent who are urgently needed. With me on the show, Penny Lawler, who's project manager for Kent County Council, and also Tiffany Sims, care worker at Woodchurch House in Ashford. Your questions are coming through as well. Uh, Here's a really good question. Hi, guys. It's Becky from Maidstone. So how does it work in terms of where in Kent we will actually be working as a carer? Hi, hi, Becky. Um, it depends really on what people put on the form. There's, a, you know, there's a question there asking what, which area you, of Kent that you'd like to work in. This recruitment campaign also covers Medway, so we've had a few applicants from Medway. Um, so you decide yourself which area you'd like to work in, and then we try and match up to uh, job vacancies in those areas. Um, it will also depend on what type of care role you choose. Um, if you're more keen on working in a residential or nursing service, then obviously you're in the same place every day. If you decide that community care is for you, where you're visiting people in their own homes, then you'll be allocated an area or a patch to work and you'll travel around that area each day. Keep your questions coming in as well. Text KMFM to 87474. Also, we are streaming live on Facebook, KMFM Official. Here's another question. Hello, it's Corinne from Gillingham. And my question is, are you going to be looking after the same people so that you can build a rapport with them? In fact, that question to uh, Penny and Tiffany. Tiffany, did you want to go first? I suppose I work in a nursing home, so I work with the same kind of residents every day, but I do get the opportunity to go onto the other floor and mix with them as well so you build different kind of relationships with different residents if that makes sense it does penny Hmm. Yeah, I mean, as Tiffany says, if you're in a nursing or residential home, you've you know you've got the same group of people for quite a while. Obviously, some stay there a lot longer than others, depending on their health condition. Um, and in the community, you do tend to have regular patches. You may cover for other people now and again, but you do see the regular faces, and you definitely get to build up that rapport. And it's really important because, particularly for people at home, they might be living alone, and if their families have moved away, the care worker is the one constant contact they have every day. I was about to say the same thing, that relationship really is important, isn't it? That they are seeing the same faces or the same face. It is. Yeah, they do, they do get to rely on people and they always know if somebody's off for a couple of days and they're asking where they are and that sort of thing. Um, but, you know, everybody has a, a handful of carers, so they have a little team uh, between them. And I know this is, this is a big question, especially the time we're in at the moment, but how many care workers are you in need of right now, Penny? Well, at the moment, our vacancy list, uh, we've got 300 vacancies on there, which we have started allocating people to them. And 300 might sound a lot, um, but we're covering the whole of Kent and Medway, and we've got almost a 1,000 services, care services in Kent and Medway, when you total all the different types of services up. And also on there, we've got some temporary jobs. So, again, we mentioned earlier, because of coronavirus, we've a few staff down. 
So uh, some of the uh, care providers are advertising short-term temporary vacancies for a couple of months. So it does sound a lot, but in the grand scheme of things, it, it isn't. And a really good question from Ash Gregory on Facebook, which might, might tie in quite nicely with your answer, Penny, asking what is the most helpful advice you could give to anyone who's thinking of becoming a care worker in the industry? I think, you know, there's quite a lot of people interested in care, but you need to find the right role that suits you. And we have had people who've started and they've literally, you know, done an induction, done a couple of days and then decided care's not for them. And it might not be that working in care isn't for them. It's it's the actual setting, either the client group or the type of role. You know, there's lots of different services in the care sector. We support many different client groups, from older people, young adults, children, people with disabilities. And it's a matter of finding the right fit for that person so i would say to anybody who's tried it before and didn't like it you know if really they've got that feeling to support and help others and the care in nature don't be put off by any past experience you know think about the role and what might suit them better ash hopefully that answered your question keep them coming text kmfm to 87474 and on facebook we're streaming live kmfm official Become a care worker. Stay listening to find out how you could apply or visit kmfm.co.uk forward slash care. It is KMFM. This hour is all about the amazing care workers here in Kent. And also, by the end of this hour, just before one o'clock, you will have made a decision, I promise you, uh, whether or not a, a job as a care worker here in Kent is for you. Text just in. Uh, There's just coming, guys. I'm with Penny Lawler, Project Manager for Kent County Council, and Tiffany Sims, care worker at Wood Church House in Ashford at work right now. Can you do a massive shout out to all the amazing ladies and gents that I work with at Aspire Care Home who are on the front line who do an incredible job from Siobhan. And another text message is a good question for you to answer, Penny. It says, are there opportunities for men to become care workers? There are. We've actually had some applications in from men. Um, so, you know, where if people have got the right values and attitude for care, then we'll definitely find a job for them. Uh, obviously, you see a lot more women in care than men, um, and I think it's quite surprising for some people when a, a man turns up at the door um, because they are used to seeing so many women in the sector. But there's opportunities for everybody. Guys, guys in Kent, <laughs> kmfm.co.uk forward slash care. Of course you can be, you can be a care worker. Uh, your messages are coming in as well. Here's a really good question. Hi, it's Heather from Sheerness. Are you looking for people who are already qualified or people that haven't ever done this before? Penny? Hello, Heather. Um, both. We've got vacancies for qualified uh, roles, such as nurses and senior care workers, but then also there's roles on there where you don't need a natural qualification because all the training is going to be provided for you. If you're the right person for care and you accept a job, then you will have a structured in, um, induction and all the basic and mandatory training that you need to be able to carry out that role safely. Here's another one as well. What are you looking for when I submit an application? Penny? Um, we're, we're looking for, you know, people's values, people considerate, have they got that empathy and understanding for other people, have they got patience, um, and that's the main thing experience counts for a lot and although people might not have formal experience of working in the care sector or health sector there's a lot of people out there who've been supporting family members through illness and ill health and that does count for a lot you know there's a lot of people who bring that experience with them and it really helps them to get an understanding for the person that they're caring for so you know don't don't worry if you've not got formal experience do you know what, you're, you're giving me some, um, uh, yeah, um, an amazing insight into the care worker industry and I just hope right now people are going to kmfm.co.uk forward slash care to fill in that application. Uh, it is really, really simple. A uh, question for you right now, Tiffany. Talk us through, especially at this time, at this moment that we're in at the moment, how do you feel personally with people praising and recognising in particular care workers uh, and what you guys are doing because you do an amazing job anyway but now really at this time you really are at the forefront of a lot of people's minds in Ken. how does that feel it feels amazing to be fair i think not uh, not everybody actually understands just how stressful and exhausting and emotional this job is and then you add on the coronavirus and it you know you have that scare of going into work and then when you leave work and you have people clapping and stuff like that it means the world to us and it does keep us all going.
Tiffany, I want to read something to you. It yep. says, Tiffany is the best. She looks after my dad, Frank, <laughs> in Woodchurch <laughs> House Care Home, and he adores her. I cannot thank you enough for what you do, Tiffany. You really do give my mind some peace, knowing that my dad has you looking after him, especially now, and we cannot see him. Me and my family love you. We cannot thank you enough, Tiffany. That's just coming on Facebook. Oh, bless her so much. She's made me cry. <laughs> That's what it's all about. It is really is about that personal touch, isn't it? A hundred percent, yeah. Hey, keep your questions coming in. Text KMFM to 87474. We're also live on Facebook, KMFM Official. This hour is all about care workers in Kent who you're hearing are urgently needed. Could you be a care worker? Stay listening to find out how you could apply or visit kmfm.co.uk forward slash care. Supported by Kent County Council and Kent Integrated Care Alliance. This is KMFM. It is a one hour special all about care workers in Kent who are urgently needed, urgently needed right now. We've already found out it's easy to apply. Men and women can apply as well. There are various areas to work in as a care worker as well. kmfm.co.uk forward slash care. On there is the application. It's so easy. It takes about five minutes. kmfm.co.uk forward slash care. I'm joined at the moment by Penny Lawler, who's project manager for Kent County Council, and Tiffany Sims, care worker at work at the moment at Woodchurch House in Ashford. Your questions are coming in as well. Here's another one. Hi, it's um, Claire from Whitstable. Um, can I just ask? Become a care worker. Supported by Kent County Council and Kent Integrated Care Alliance. KMFM, Thursday afternoon. This is Andy Walker. Of course, tonight at 8 o'clock, we will once again join the county and the country and clap for our carers. And the plan on this show for the next 60 minutes is to let you know more about care workers in Kent, what they do, who they're doing it for. We're going to give you the chance to ask any questions you've always wanted to ask as well and at this point just to let you know we're also streaming live on facebook kmfm official we're live on there right now care workers in kent are a team of amazing people these guys support people of all ages to maintain their independence as much as possible and also enabling them to lead a safe and fulfilling life now my first guest this afternoon penny lawler who's project manager for kent county council afternoon penny Afternoon, Andy. So why are you looking for care workers right at this moment in particular? Well, as everybody's aware, we've got coronavirus with us at the moment. And Penny, you know a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, with, there's vacancies for all types of services. So you'll have your general, you know, older people services and services for people with dementia. There's also some support services and supported living for people with uh, learning disability. Um, and then there's a few mental health vacancies on there as well um, and younger adult vacancies. So it varies. You know, there's a, a vast variety of different service types out there. There's something to do to everybody who's interested in care. KMFM.co.uk forward slash care for everything. Literally everything you need is on our website this afternoon. Let's take another one of your questions. Hi, it's Linda from Gravesend. Is there a typical day for care workers? Or is no day the same? That is a good question. Tiffany, tell us about, I mean, a typical day for you. <laughs> a typical day for me would be getting up at the crack of dawn and going to work for 12 hours, but having such a fun day because not every day is the same. It's always different. And um, if I may, Penny, question that's just come in on text in front of me on the screen at the moment. If I can ask this to you, I want to work in the mental health side is that possible? It is. Um, we've got some mental health services with uh, care and support workers and it's the same sort of uh, training that they would go through as a, a care worker. Um, obviously, because it's especially service mental health, there will be additional training that's specialist to that service setting. Um, but yes, process is the same. And guys, I'm going to ask you both this next question because after listening to this last hour on KMFM, even if there was one person sat at home right now thinking, I can do this, I can do this, I could be a care worker, what would you say to them, Tiffany? I would say go for it because it could just turn out to be the best thing you'll ever do in your whole lifetime. Which it has done for you. 
Yeah, which it has done for me. Penny? Yeah. And I would agree. Um, it's a really rewarding role. Um, I don't know anybody who's been in it, uh, you know, more, more than a year who's not stuck with it and enjoyed whatever type of work they've done in the care sector. It's um, lots of opportunities as well. I don't think people realise that once they've started as a care worker, they can go on to train additional training and become a senior worker or a team leader deputy manager manager and there's also opportunities to become nurses as well in social care which again i don't think people are aware of they see that as a health role but we've got nurses and opportunities for training nurse and associates in social care as well you have told us penny and tiffany so so much information this afternoon kmfm.co.uk forward slash care is the website penny and tiffany thank you for being part of this hour on kmfm thank you so much um like i said you've told kent lots about what it takes to be a care worker hopefully there will be a times this hour where you at home have made your decision is a job as a care worker for you kmfm.co.uk forward slash care and tiffany we've had calls coming from people who want to say thank you have a listen to this. Hi, my name is Poppy from Folkestone. I'm just saying thank you to all the care workers out there. This is Alison from Larkfield. Just to say a big thank you to all the NHS staff from Carries and Kent at this time. There are no words to how amazing you all are. I just want to say a massive thank you to all of the incredible carers and key workers in Kent for looking after our loved ones during this challenging time. It's James from Herm Bay. I'd like to give a big shout out to the uh, carers, especially my wife, for doing an amazing job. Everyone I've the work they're doing. I'm Primrose from the Earl of Sheppey. Thank you to all the Kent carers. You are all amazing. Hi, this is Jamie from Aylesford. Just want to say a massive thank you to all the NHS staff, carers and key workers working through this tough time. You truly are all amazing. Hi, Josh from Strood. Just want to say a massive thank you to all the carers and frontline staff working around the clock in this current climate in the whole of Kent, especially my mum. Hi, it's Stacey from Astrid. Just a message to say how amazing all the carers and frontline staff are doing throughout the whole of Kent. Thank you. Hello, I'm Julie from Mither. I'd just like to say a big thank you to all the carers. You're doing a great job. Carry on and stay safe. 